some scars and some wounds need to stay there, not to go back and dwell on them, not to hold on to them, not to make them an everyday event, not to use them as a victim tool, but an understanding that when I need to be encouraged, when I need hope, I can go back and remember what it was like to endure what I've endured. If you beat me and abuse me, then I might need to look in the mirror every once in a while and remember that scar. And when the next person that comes in my life starts showing those signs and those symptoms of abuse, then I know how to escape it. I know what to look for. But I cannot possibly start a renewing of my life if I don't know what it is that's in me. First thing first, I must believe in myself. What good is going through life if you don't figure out how to believe in yourself, despite what happened to me? Because I was molested does not make me a nasty human being. Because I was raped does not mean that I deserve it. Because I was passed up on that promotion doesn't mean that I don't qualify. It just means I gotta work a little harder. It just means I've gotta do a little more. Someplace I've got to learn how to believe in myself. And in that belief, once I grab a hold of believing in myself, I have to respect that. I have to become motivated and dedicated to my life. And I'm not talking about on a selfish plane where it's all about me and none of it's about you. I have to learn somewhere how to have self-respect and keep it in balance. Keep that respect for myself in balance, renewing myself. But if I don't deal with the scars and the wounds that, that ail me, then respect can't be there. See, I don't have to disrespect you if I have respect for myself. I don't have to degrade you if I believe in myself. And I have to grab myself by the bootstraps and realize and come to the understanding that, man, this life is worth living despite what I've been through. Despite the obstacle that has been set before me, I'm going to turn those stumbling blocks into my stepping stone. And I'm going to stand on top of it, and I'm going to move forward in my life. Now, that doesn't mean I have to become a rocket scientist. doesn't mean that I have to become a surgeon. It just simply <laughs> means the greatest reward in life is learning to love, respect, and honor who you are. There are going to come days when you have to motivate you. There's nobody around to motivate you. And you have to motivate yourself. We often look for people in life to motivate us all the time. But no one fully knows what you've been through. We can talk all day about what we've been through, but nobody knows what it felt like. Like we know what it felt like. And so when I need that motivation in my life, Sometimes I need to go back there for just a moment. Not to sit there and waddle in it, but go back for just a moment to remind myself that if I made it through all of that, then there's nothing I can't make it through. There's no obstacle too hard for me. You know why you can't fly an airplane? For those of you that don't know how to fly an airplane, it's because no one ever taught you how to fly it. That's the only obstacle in your way is you haven't been taught to fly the plane. But it doesn't mean that you can't fly it. It doesn't mean that you cannot have the possibility in your mind, allow to gravitate to your heart, respect what you desire to do, and move forward in it. And do it. Why settle for the shovel? Why not settle for climbing the ladder at work? And if it happens to be dead end, then I need to go somewhere where the end never dies. Because I have the right to have just as much as anyone else. But when I believe in me, and I respect me, I love who I am, and I honor me, I don't need to be like the Joneses. The Joneses have their own issues. I'm working out mine. And so I don't have to have what you have but I can make an effort to get what I desire. Because you have what you have, I can do the same thing for my life. 
When I'm at work, I don't have to compete against you. I believe enough in myself that I outdo myself every day. It's not about who's standing next to me. When I'm doing what I need to do, they can't help but to notice. When I come in with the right attitude, they can't help but to notice. But I don't do it, regardless if they notice it or not. It's not for their recognition. It's for you, for what you desire. It's for where you want to go, what you want to do, and how you want to do it. I don't have to live my life focused on the threats of other people. If you want to walk out of my life, go for it. Because I have somewhere to go. Today, I decide to be motivated to move forward, to become what I never thought I had the ability to become. And if you're not coming with me, it's okay. You have to walk your life, I have to walk mine. I love the belief that life is this journey. We climb this mountain. Now, I can't climb the mountain alone. There's times where I may get tired and I need help. I don't want you to carry me up this mountain. I would love for you to walk alongside of me. I don't need to be carried. When I was the victim, I needed to be carried, but today I desire to walk. I may need a little help getting there. But as I believe in myself, I can allow others to help me. You're not taking from me for helping me. There's nothing you're taking from me. If anything, you're helping me, we're helping each other. And along our way, along that journey, climbing that mountain, we stop for a moment and we rest. Every once in a while, you got to look over. There's flowers out there. There's roses. You know the old saying? Sometimes you have to stop to smell the rose. Sometimes I've got to stop for a moment and rethink my life and rethink things because my desire is to continuously move forward every single day. I will not allow anything to stop me from reaching my potential, my true potential. But I first must learn how to believe in myself. I must first be motivated in that. Loving me. There's nothing wrong with loving me. There's nothing wrong in believing that I have an ability and a gift. I, there are some things you can do that I can't do. That doesn't take from me. That's your gift. That's your talent. I have mine. And my place isn't to try to outdo you in your gift, in your talent, but to believe in my gifts and my talents. <laughs> Because I'm getting over all those horrible and deadly and venomous wounds. Holding on to the ones that are going to benefit. Respecting the fact that I have a choice to hold on to whatever it is I want to hold on. To let go of whatever it is I want to let go. And only allow that which is good to penetrate my life. Now that doesn't mean that sometimes when someone gives you constructive criticism, it may sound bad. How many of us love to be corrected? But if it's good, then I must receive it. Because I believe enough in myself to grab a hold of it, take what is good, and let the rest go. So that I can further myself in my life. And that's what it's all about. What is my true passion here on this earth? What is my call? What is my duty? What am I supposed to do? You know what? I may have screwed up in the past, but I have to learn to be the best father, the best mother, the best husband, the best wife I could possibly be. And my best has to be good enough. I'm not doing it for your satisfaction. I'm doing it for my joy. Because the joy that's in me for my self-respect, the joy that's in me for my love and understanding, that's what completes me. Whatever you call on to, whether it's a higher power, whatever gives you the energy to seal that into your soul, into your mind, into your heart, you grab a hold of it. But first, I've got to get out of what everyone said about me and start looking at what do I say about myself? What do I believe about me? Do a self-check. What do I believe about me? 
What do I believe about me? Evaluate it. And if it's not good, I have to get rid of it. It's keeping me from maximizing. And I have to find some motivation and dedication and devotion in my life to do what is necessary to do for me. I have to grab a hold of that. And I thank you. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And for more information on further speaking engagements, you can reach us at leontoday.com. Today is the day for you to grab a hold of those stumbling blocks that have been capturing you all of your life. Become free. Become the person you know how to become. But first, you have to get rid of the scars, you have to get rid of the wounds, you have to get rid of the downfalls to become successful, to be the best, to know you are the best, and to maximize all that life has to offer. Thank you.